So I'm sat on a Yardforce E599 battery ride on mower. Now for a brand that no one knows about, is it really worth spending money on? Well, find out in this video. Tested by Machinery Nation. So I suppose the biggest selling feature with this ride on mower is it runs on a 56 volt platform, which is nice and powerful. It's got a 50 amp hour battery that's built into the machine, which will give you up to 8,000 square meters of cutting performance, which is nearly two acres. So it's fitted with a heavy duty 96 centimeter cutting deck, which is twin bladed. It's mulch, side discharge or collect. Now I'm not a great lover of side discharge collect machines, but we'll see how it performs. So it does give you that option of you know the varying terrains and different garden areas so you've got 12 heights of cut all the way from 114 millimeters all the way down to 38 so you've got a really nice broad range of cutting heights so this machine's fitted with one powerful lithium iron battery rather than having lots of small ones to swap in and out one thing i've already found out is how easy it is to steer it's got a really nice tight turning circle so we've got two anti-sculping wheels fitted to the cutting deck so if the yard or garden area is that little bit rougher it will allow the cutting deck to lift up and down and ride with the terrain of the garden nice operation on the part brake down on there lock it into place and when you want to release it literally is just push your foot down on the part brake we've got a really nice intuitive led display you've got your forward neutral and reverse functions pto switch mow and reverse headlights cruise control led display showing battery consumption battery charge how many hours the machine has been used for or mileage in this case and you've got a usb socket so you can charge your phone on the go you've got an optional 220 liter grass box assembly which has got two removable boxes which simply side off like so. It does come with two sets of blades. So when you're collecting, you need the high lift blades fitted. When you are side discharge mulching, there's a second set which you can fit on. You've got one handy charging point, which will charge the massive 50 amp hour battery fit to this ride on mower. No taking out smaller batteries and charging them independently. To keep the performance of the mower up to its prime, you want to continually wash out and clean the cutting deck. Well, you've got a simple feature on this one. You've got a deck wash port. And what you do is you connect this female end up to your hose pipe, snap it onto the cutting deck, run up the hose pipe so the water's flowing through, fire up the blades and it will clean it out for you. Magic. You even got working LED headlights. And what more do you want than a cup holder? Right, so that's the top specs and pretty impressive, but really we need to give it a good test and see what it's all about. Did I mention this bad boy will go at 12.9 kilometers per hour? But we're certainly not gonna do that with the collector on the back. So we're gonna start with the collector, and then we're gonna change the side discharge mulch and see what the results are. Let's start mowing. So Yard Force use lithium iron phosphate batteries, commonly known as LFP type. The benefits of these over other lithium batteries are that it provides a longer lifespan, no maintenance, extremely safe, lightweight and have improved discharge efficiency. What more, they have up to 4,000 recharge cycles. It wouldn't be the cheapest battery on the market, but due to long lifespan and zero maintenance makes for the best investment you can make over time. So that's impressive. I probably cut, what, three inches of grass, something like that. It is damp, it collected it really, really well. But the only disappointing thing, and I did tell you this, is side discharge machines never work that brilliantly when they're collecting grass. You've got what we call, in old terms, an AYP collection facility. So that's where a tube comes up the side, goes into a little hopper at the back, and you can slide the boxes off. This little spinny thing here is meant to spin when the grass box is collecting and when the air is flowing up through the tube. But it didn't spin at all so i don't know if these are full or not so i'm gonna have to check now check the grass box see if it is ready and time to empty but having said that if you pan around at the garden and look and see the cut quality and what i've collected it is top notch well there's nothing i can say that is disappointing about it there we go we've only filled the grass boxes by probably only a quarter the chute isn't blocked it's still collecting even though it's damp and it's done a really really good job So I was gonna say, this is arguably the best side discharge collect ride-on I've ever used. I know that's a bold statement, but I have done about half the lawn area and I have just blocked the tube. So as I did say, they aren't gonna be your direct collect. They're not gonna give you the same performance of that, but it will give you the option if you wanted to collect the grass on a dry day, 
it will do a very good job. It has picked up everything that we've done now, but like I say, we've only just got to this point and we've just blocked it up. So we'll empty the grass boxes, we'll then change it into side discharge mulch, and then we'll see how the cut performance works. It's worth noting as well, I've only used 19% battery capacity from the start. So I've cut probably three, 400 meters squared of lawn area. So pretty impressive actually. If you've got larger lawns, certainly worth considering. So as easy as opening up the hopper, if you've got a compost heap, you can obviously chuck the grass on the compost heap. And remember, it is a 220 litre grass hopper assembly. So very similar to a petrol equivalent, 36 inch direct collect. There we go. Let's turn it into mulch side discharge. So it's really quick and simple to change it from collection to mulch side discharge. Right, let's do some mulching. So there we go, that's impressive. So who actually makes Yard Force? Well, it's not like the logo on the steering column. It's not made by Citroen. It's made by a company called Sumec Group, and they are the largest import and export organization in China. They make high power pressure washers, garden equipment, power tools, and they supply to over 60 countries worldwide. So it's a force, a Yard Force, to be reckoned with. Now we're gonna change it into side discharge. So all it is, is literally, unclipping the cover, the two clips there, chucking that away, and now we're inside discharge. So that's the Yard Force E599 rider. Very impressed, does a really good job. And all the features are very intuitive. It's got plenty of power, the battery runtime, superb. We've done probably a good hour and a half mowing. We're only down to 50% charge as well. You benefit from a three year warranty. And to think this machine is sub four and a half grand, it's definitely something to consider. There is backup and support centers available. It is more of a brand that you would buy in your shed dealerships. So your home base, your B&Q, that sort of side of things. But certainly it's a strong, well-built bit of kit. And I'm impressed and I think you should be too. So a couple of really nice features that I really like about this product is how smooth the operation is. So from forward and reverse, you can literally keep your foot down on the accelerator pedal switch it between forward and reverse it will stop very very smoothly and it will take you in the other direction there's also plenty of power and i do like that 50 amp hour 56 volt system it gives you plenty of power when you're cutting even the longest of grass the collection was pretty good considering that the grass was wet it mulched fantastically and it gave a really good cut performance so the only thing i would say is having that one battery that is not removable obviously limits you to your cordless range yard force have got a range of other battery cordless tools from chainsaws hedge cutters and rotary mowers and it would be really nice if those batteries could be interchanged into the ride-ons like a lot of other brands but having said that having that one battery in there does mean you can charge it up in one go you just plug the charger in charge it up very very quickly and then you can get out of mowing as quickly as you want check out the yard force website they've got 60 countries that supply their products throughout the world so there will be something for everyone on that website if if you've got any other further questions drop them in the box below and we'll try and help you we're machinery nation we bring you videos every tuesday and friday about tools and machinery we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one